Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on fractions. So far in our number system we have been dealing with whole numbers or integers. However, there are many other types of numbers. We will now look at fractions. In simple terms, a fraction is part of a whole. Let's look at some simple examples using some diagrams. This circle has four equal parts. One, two, three, four. Only one part is shaded out of the four equal parts. That part there is shaded. We say that one quarter of the circle is shaded. So in other words, the one represents the shaded part and the four represents the four equal parts. So one quarter of the circle is shaded. Now for this rectangle here we can see that one third of this rectangle is shaded. The one means one part is shaded, the three means there are three equal parts. We can see that three fifths of this rectangle is shaded. The three means that there are three parts that are shaded, the five means there are five equal parts. Now let's look at the words numerator and denominator. A simple fraction consists of two parts, a numerator and a denominator. Let's look at the fraction 3 over 5 as a simple example. The numerator is the 3 and the denominator is the 5. So the numerator is always on top, the denominator is on the bottom. Let's look at some simple exercises. What is the numerator in the fraction 4 over 5 or 4 fifths? If we remember from the previous slide, the numerator was on top, so that is 4. What is the denominator in the fraction 6 over 7? We saw in the previous slide that the denominator was on the bottom or underneath, so the denominator is 7. What fraction of the circle is shaded. Now you notice that there are two parts of the circle that are shaded, so we put two. Altogether there are three equal parts, so we put three for the denominator, so two thirds of the circle is shaded. What fraction of the circle is unshaded? Okay, we have one, two, three parts that are unshaded, so we put the three up there. The 5 represents the 5 equal parts, so 3 fifths of the circle is unshaded. Number 5. Draw a circle and divide it into 5 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Shade 4 of the parts. 1, 2, 3, 4. What fraction is shaded? Well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, so 4 parts are shaded. Five parts are unshaded. Sorry, five parts all together in the circle. So that five represents one, two, three, four, five. In other words, four fifths of the circle is shaded. What fraction is unshaded? There's one unshaded part which is there. There are five parts, one, two, three, four, five. So one fifth of the circle is unshaded. So this video has introduced us to the idea of fractions and we've seen that a fraction is part of a whole. We've done some simple exercises where we've seen that a fraction consists of two parts, a numerator and a denominator.